Hi, it's Deborah Peters. Welcome to the Deborah Peters Show. It is one week before Christmas Eve. And here we are on the countdown leading up to probably one of the biggest holidays of the year. It can be a really stressful time. It can be a happy time. It can be a lonely time. It all has so many emotions tied to it. It can stress people out financially. It can really wreak havoc on your well being and your stress levels. So, I thought we would do the next couple of shows on creating your future, creating 2019. And while I get this up and running, I'm going to throw some invites out to some friends and get some folks on here and just say hello to everybody, let you know that I'm live. And, um, and I've actually set a, um, a really great schedule for the Deborah Peters show. We're going to be doing a lot with it coming up 2019. There's tons and tons and tons of um, opportunities for you to be a part of it. I'm going to be having some really amazing guests on the show as well, and um, and just have some brilliant content. You know, lots of neuroscience tools, lots of um, real tangible uh, neuroscience processes that you can take into your life on a daily basis and really make a difference for yourself, for your family, for, for everyone really that is in your circle of influence, even those people that might be the difficult people, right? So um, we're going to get this rolling here. I'm just getting some invitations out. This is my first time ever doing this setup. So I'm kind of I'm kind of learning my my way around here. So let's get everything rolling and uh, get some more invites going. Glad to have you with me. I'd love to know who's on as you come on. And I posed a question actually. And the question is, you know, what are you creating for yourself in 2019? And I'd really like to spend some time focusing on <laughs> The idea that we're all creators and that life is an ongoing process of creation. You know, I think it's interesting that we as a humanity, as a society, have been in this place of, you know, there's there's been a creation, it was the beginning of time, it was the beginning of us all, and that's the end of creation. And so I want to open you up to this idea that um, you're all creators and you're all creating all of the time. The question is, are you aware of what you're creating? Are you connected to what you're creating? Are you conscious of what you're creating? Most people are not. So as we get into this part of the show, I'm going to really start to ramp up more along the lines of the creation process because you really are in charge of your life. You're really in charge of your results. You're really in charge of the experiences and the reality that you are living and that you have been living. And I think that's probably the first step right there is being able to um, get you onto this place of understanding and awareness that you are creating and that you are a creator. So how incredible is it to know that you are a creator? It totally takes you out of being in this place of um, struggle, feeling like a victim, feeling like life is hard and, and that it's, it's almost impossible to get things rolling or get to the next level. I have conversations with people every day, all day long, and it fascinates me how many people feel so stuck these days. So we really want to get into the whole focus around what are you creating? Do you know that you are a creator? And what's your level of enthusiasm around that creation? So let's talk a little bit about the idea of creation. So 
in the realm of creating, you know, your thoughts it starts out with with um, your thoughts and and your emotions and your feelings, and those make up your vibration. And then your vibration attracts to you um, the actual process or the actual experience of what it is that you would like to create. So when we look at the results we're getting, many times the results don't match what's going on up here in our mind and what it is that we would like to create. So how do you bridge the gap between what's up here, like what's the vision in your mind and what's actually showing up in your life in real time? And I'd like to be able to give you some neuroscience tools on that. So the first one would be really basically in the process of enthusiasm. Are you enthusiastic or are you excited? You know, enthusiasm goes so much further than excitement. Excitement is something that is, is a manufactured kind of feeling, whereas enthusiasm really comes from within and it's based on inspiration. And I know it might sound like these are semantics, but when you look at um, the results that you're getting in your life, many times there's an excitement in the beginning like, okay, I thought of this idea, I'm excited about it, um, but that excitement only goes so far. Uh, it's, it's like when you go to a, a seminar and um, the seminar leader gets you all excited for those, that day that you're there, those two days that you're there, and you're just like jumping up and down and screaming and hollering, and you're just like so excited, but then, you know, three, four days later, and you're right back to where you started from, or maybe even at a lower deficit, because you had yourself so ramped up. And now this is like a big letdown. It's kind of like the sugar high. And then suddenly, um, you know, you have the, the drop after the sugar high, and you actually go lower than where you were before you started consuming the sugar. So that's the difference really between excitement and enthusiasm. And it's kind of like, I, I, I compare that to the difference between inspiration and motivation. So motivation is this external thing that happens to us. That's why when people say to me, are you a motivational speaker? And I'm like, no, I'm not a motivational speaker. I show people how to recreate themselves from the inside out. So I show you how to connect to the inspiration that is within you. And then you take that inspiration and you live an inspired life. No one can take your inspiration away. They can take away your motivation, but they cannot take your inspiration away. So when you're looking at the difference between enthusiasm and excitement, inspiration and, and um, motivation, then you understand that some things are external and they're happening to us, which is great as long as our environment is providing that to us, or things are happening through us from the inside out and we have more control over that because if things are have to happen to us in order for us to get moving and to get things done and to get creative, then as soon as those external things stop happening, we're not going to be motivated anymore, right? So we're really relying on something outside of ourselves and we're giving our power away. But when you're relying on something inside of you and that's that constant, endless, infinite well of inspiration, then again, it's infinite and it goes on forever. And I teach this in a webinar that's coming up tomorrow on the 19th of um, December, and I'm running it at 12 noon. So I'm gonna put the link in here so that you guys have it and you can register, um, you can register for that link. So let me just get that for you and I'll pop it in the chat I think it's really important to, 
to really be able to be in charge of, of the reality that you're creating for yourself. When you have that um, ability, then you always feel empowered. And coming from a place of empowerment is, is really the answer to creating your own success. Um, when you're looking for something outside of you to fill you up, then there always seems to be a deficit because you just can't ever completely, you know, get in charge of something like that. It's, it's a fickle beast. It's like, it's like a bad boyfriend, you know, it just comes and goes when it pleases and you never really totally in charge of your life. So here's the, um, the link to um, the December 19th uh, webinar creating create 2019 um a reality beyond this reality what if you could create a reality beyond this reality so whatever it is that you're experiencing was only just a small amount um of what you're capable of right so i would like to give you this invitation and have you join me tomorrow it's at 11 a.m and um, we're gonna go live, we're gonna go via Zoom. So you can jump on there with me and you can get registered through this link. Um, so what else did I wanna share with you? That you know, creation is always in perpetual motion. You are always creating. You're creating with your thoughts, you're creating with your energy, you're creating with your emotions, you're creating with your focus, and so, uh, where you really start to empower yourself is realizing that you're creating from a, an internal space of reality. And so whatever your point of view of life is, is what you are creating. Your points of view create your reality. So if you're not getting the reality that you would like to get, then your points of view are distorted. And maybe it's time to kind of do an overhaul on your points of view and to start to expand your awareness around possibilities, you know, asking questions that enable you to expand your awareness of possibilities. And so I have a couple of favorite questions. One of my favorite questions is what else is possible? That kind of question opens up the pathways. It just, creates more space in your life. It creates more space in your mind. It creates more space in, in possibilities. What else is possible? And so this is a question that you can use when things are going great and you want things to go greater, or it's a question you can use when things aren't going so great and you want things to get better. So you can use this question every day, all day long. What else is possible? Now, another question that I like to use is, how does it get better than this? So again, things can be going really, really bad. And you can ask that question, how does it get better than this? And suddenly you elevate the energy and the vibration up above where you are, and you get yourself into a space where things are getting better than this, right? Or if things are going phenomenal, you can even expand that and you can say, hey, how does it get better than this? And now suddenly all of those doors start to fly open of all of the possibilities that could be better than this, right? Because what happens is this, when you decide you, you have something in the back of your mind that you would like to experience, and let's say you say to yourself, but I, I can't afford that, or I don't have the money for that. Well, that's a stop. That's a hard stop. That's like walking into a brick wall. And when, when people are constantly saying to themselves, hey, I can't afford it. I'd love to do this, but I don't have the money. Then you're constantly creating all these hard stops in your life. And it's actually the hard stops then that perpetuate themselves because that hard stop becomes a point of view that is blocking you. So when you get into this space of 
um, expansion, when you get into the space of what else is possible, when you get into the space of how does it get better than this, then suddenly it doesn't matter if you can't afford it right this minute. When you start to take a step toward it, then it starts to come toward you. And it could come toward you in the form of a email, a phone call, a human being, an event, uh, you know, anything, anything besides feeling stuck in that moment. So what I'd like to do is I'd like to leave you with a challenge. I want to keep these shows short, like 15 minutes so you can apply it and roll with it. So I'd like to um, leave you with a challenge. And the challenge is to actually decide a couple of things that you're creating for yourself in 2019 and write it down and then every day start to, to look at it and ask, you know, what else is possible? How does it get better than this? And then take a step toward it. Maybe it's a phone call. Maybe you email someone. Maybe you go online and do some research. But do something. Take some sort of action toward it. Now, another thing you can do to help yourself along the way of this is you can register for my YouTube channel. If you go over here to my YouTube channel, I'm going to shoot the link in, and you sign up and you subscribe to my channel, you will have access to just a ton of tools. Now, on my YouTube channel is a meditation and an energy pull and they're free they're my gift to you so you can use the meditation you can use the energy pull every day and you can start to pull energy toward you you can start to pull towards you the kinds of experiences that you would like to have in your life so use those tools get on board with yourself it's it's not about getting on board with me or or any other coach for that matter. It's about you getting on board with you. Write down what it is that you would like to create in your life for 2019. And then ask the question, what else is possible? How does it get better than this? And then start to write those things down and make some phone calls toward that thing or that outcome or that creation for 2019. Send some emails, get in front of some people, have some conversations, start to ask for it, ask for it to show up and use the meditation and the energy pull every day and start to pull it toward you. Now, I'm gonna be doing another show this Friday and so I'm gonna continue on this theme and we'll get into the benefit of the energy pull and what a difference that makes in your life and what you need to combine that with to actually have greater traction on what it is that you want to create. So thank you so much for joining me today. I will um, post the replay of this over on my YouTube channel. I've put the link in the comment section so you can subscribe to the channel. And I look forward to seeing you again on Friday at 4 o'clock Pacific Standard Time, The Deborah Peters Show. Looking forward to working with you, being of service to you. Mm -hmm. Have a blessed week. And what are you creating? What reality are you creating beyond this reality with total ease for 2019? Mwah.